Hey everybody, welcome back. Old T-Roy here. We're cooking out back again today. I think it's something y'all will enjoy. It's something I haven't cooked before on video for y'all. Uh, I've been neglecting my Weber Smoky Mountain here lately since I got my Wichita. Wichita's doing just great. Hey Wichita. So, uh, here you go Moonshine. <laughs> Where you at there Wichita? Uh, anyway, I'm gonna fire up the Weber Smoky Mountain get it going up to about 225, 235, somewhere in that range today. I'm going to use some pecan wood or some hickory wood. Uh, I'll let you know when I do that, what it is. But I uh, thought I would do something I haven't cooked for y'all before on my videos. I'm going to do a spatchcocked Cornish game hen. Should be pretty good. And I'm going to marinate my Cornish game hen for two or three hours before I put it on the smoker. Let me show you what goes in the marinade. Should be pretty good. All right, I apologize if it's hard to see. Uh, it is high noon here in Central Texas. Uh, got premium Cornish game hens. I got two of them. For my marinade, of course you need a little bit of this Louisiana hot sauce. A little bit of a uh, low fat 1% buttermilk. I love this Chapacuba rub. And again, y'all can get this over at uh, Two Gringos. What is it? Two Gringos Salsa.com. Says it right there. Two Gringos Salsa.com. That's what you're looking for ordered on their website. It's good stuff on all kind of pork, poultry and uh, seafood, beef and pork. Woo! All kind of good stuff. Got a little garlic, a little lemon pepper. Those are always good on uh, poultry. So, show you how we're going to mix this up real quick here. Buttermilk. This is a, this is a quart. I think it's a, no, it's a half gallon. Let's see. 64 ounce. Going in. Buttermilk. All right, so I'm using about half this bottle of Louisiana hot sauce in this buttermilk. Garlic powder. You got to have some garlic powder, right? Oh yeah, going in with the garlic powder. Uh, probably about a tablespoon. Want to season up our game hens really, really good. Lemon pepper. Again, always great on poultry. And again, about a tablespoon going in. Now for the chupacabra. I like me some chupacabra. Put a couple tablespoons in there, y'all. This is going to be some kicked up marinade. All right, now we need to stir all this about, and then we're going to spatchcock our game hens. Hey, right, gang. Got these all washed up. Uh, they were still partially frozen a little bit, so I did run them under some cold water. They usually do come frozen, uh, at least in my area. Uh, there's your breast, legs, wings, all that good stuff. What you want to do to spatchcock them is to cut the center out right here, the uh, the backbone. I don't know which way is easier here. Let's see. Let's go this way. It may still be a little bit frozen up in there, but it'll be all right. Just cut right along each side of the backbone here. Hear those ribs cracking a little bit. Busted open. Yeah, it's still a little bit frozen on me here. It'll be alright though. The other side out here. Again, just right along that backbone. Won't get off there. There we go. And that's good for stock if you ever want to make your own stock and stuff. Get a little bit of that excess fat out of there. Now, spatchcock. You got this, uh, this breastbone in here, just basically want to pop it. Pop it like that. You can push it down like that, you hear it pop. That's it right there, that's what you got. That'll help uh, even the cooking time. You can also flip these wings up under there, but we're going to marinate this real quick. So, uh, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and put it in the marinade. Just like so. Let's do the other one real quick. All right, so I got both of my birds marinating. We're going to leave them in there. We're going to put them in the fridge. Probably going to let them go for a couple hours or so in the fridge, covered. And then uh, drain them, rinse them, and uh, we'll throw them on the smoker. So here in about an hour and a half, I'm going to go get my smoker up to temp. We're going to see if, uh, see if we can get going. Be back in a little bit. All right, gang, we're back. And uh, check it out. As you can see, I cut up one of these birds. Hopefully, y'all can see that. I cut one of them totally in half. And I left the other one spatchcocked, so that's what we're gonna roll with. I got my Weber 
Uh, WSM, she's about, uh, about 260 or so. So we'll pop these bad boys on there. And uh, the wood I'm using today is back on there. Um, the wood I'm using is pecan. We'll let it roll like that. Be right back. All right, gang. It's been about two and a half hours now. The uh, corner game hens are about done. I'm gonna show you a little trick y'all may not have known that y'all can do with these WSMs. Uh, what a smoky mountain. Check this out. There you go. It's looking really good. Excellent. 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 Okay. Let me show you a little trick though. Take this midsection off. We still have coals down here. That's a grill. Y'all didn't know. Do this. Just like that. Okay? Take this chicken, flip it over on the skin side, let it get crisped up. That's what we're gonna do. That's hot, baby. Hot. That's what we're gonna do. Put the lid on so it doesn't flame up. Got your little grill. There you go. Alright gang, I'll flip these over once. And uh, look like they're about done. So I'm fixing to pull them off. We'll meet you back inside. All right, we are back. Now on to some side dishes here. Got some new potatoes. I washed them, dried them. Just going to slice these babies in half. Throw them over here. I'm going to do this to all these. So let me do that. We'll be right back. All right, so these are cut up. I'm just going to spray them down with a little bit of cooking spray. Then we're going to hit them with some of this that you can find only at HEB. This is their holiday seasoning. It's really, really good stuff. It tastes really good. This is what I used on my uh, my prime rib that I cooked around uh, New Year's. It's great stuff here, man. So, just sprinkle a little, a little bit of this on here. It's really, really good. My mom and Karen ate some potatoes we did this with a couple weeks ago. My mom, my mom was visiting, and uh, they loved it. It was really, really good. All right, so I'm going to just hit it with a little bit more salt, because as Keith Bittag says, taters love salt. Ain't that right, Keith? A little bit more fresh cracked black going on. And y'all may be wondering why I've got this extra area over here. That's because we're going to do some green beans here before long. Put them in there as well but taters take a little bit longer, so we're gonna do them first. Be right back. All right, guys, them taters have been in the oven at uh, 450 for about 25 minutes. Now again, I'm gonna spray down these green beans. Kind of give them a little light toss. Just like so. And you can do olive oil if you want, you know, just some trying to do it easy here and what we're going to do is put a little bit more of this holiday uh, this rub from HEB the Adams Reserve yeah I can find it at HEB but it's Adams Reserve holiday rub I'm going to sprinkle some of this on these green beans here this is some great stuff I'm telling you man I'll let these go a little bit Oven's still at 450. Just kind of spread these out. Those taters are almost done. So we're going to put it all back in the oven, let them taters finish cooking, and let these go probably about 15, 20 minutes. And we'll be right back, everybody. Hey, everybody. All right, it's getting late. As y'all can see, my landscape lights coming on back there. But uh, birds are chirping, sunset. See it back over that way somewhere over that way set in the back over there but uh anyway let me show you my plate i took some pictures of karen's plate earlier that's some nice plate right there this is what i got right here you don't see that right there i want y'all to check this out too this this piece right here this uh this leg when i pulled this off of the weber smoky mountain it just it fell apart i mean that's that's how good this thing was done it was it was nice really really nice but uh, I'm going to take this leg right here and this thigh, and we're going to check it out. All right, so that's what we're looking at right there. 
Don't that look fine? Oh yeah, man. Let's check it out. Mm. My God. That's some fine, fine poster right there. My God. Tell you what. A marinade and a buttermilk. That's some good stuff. But also put some of Thomas's uh, slippery chickens, mango habanero, I think it is. Um, put put slippery chickens rub on this. It's good stuff, y'all. If y'all can get him to send that to y'all, y'all need to get it. It's good stuff. Mmm, man, this is excellent, excellent stuff. Let's check out them taters and the green beans. All right, them green beans. I cooked them about 20 minutes, about 4.50 with the holiday scrub on there. The al dente, that's good stuff. Got some taters, is that taters? Oh, and I found out from Karen later. When she did this, it was so good, she used olive oil. She didn't use the spray, so use some olive oil, cut all these taters and stuff with, mix them up. It's about a holiday rub on there, if you have an H-E-B. Good stuff. Mm. Man, the tender on the inside, crunch on the outside, and that flavor from that holiday rub, man. Got a little heat to it. That's good stuff. Guys, I appreciate y'all checking it out. And uh, we'll see y'all next time. Thanks again for watching. Till next time. Cheers. All right, everybody. Dinner is done. It's getting late. Y'all can see my landscape lights in the background. See the birds going. It's a great day. All right, let's check this out. Here you go. Check this out, everybody. This is what we're looking at. This is my plate. I took Karen's uh, plate pictures earlier. This is what we got right now. That's what we're gonna eat. Let's go check it out. Oh, I wanna show y'all. I was pulling this thing off the grill earlier. And uh, this wing, I mean, this, this uh, hang on. Damn it, how do I do that? Hang on. 